Retouch for me is a Photoshop plugin AI that allows you to retouch your image in just one click. And here is why you need to create an action for it. The Retouch for me has multiple options like a heat, which allows you to remove blemishes from your image. And also there is a micro dodge burn option. And also there is a portrait volume option and there is a bagat cleanup option. And if you don't create an action for these different options, you are going to do it one after the other. But by creating an action, you can just click on the action and just going to run all those functions for you. Let me show you how you can do that right now. Like I said earlier, if you want to do only blemishes cleanup, you can just click on it and just run only the heal option. But if you want to do body heal and dodge and burn and portrait volume, you can just create an action for it. So I created an action for it. So I just go to my action right here. You can see right here I have my retouch on me. Once I click on this action, it's going to run both the heal and the micro dodge and burn and the portrait volume for me. But if you want to run only the heal, let me just delete it. Let me duplicate my layer. You can just come to your filter come to retouch for me and just click on heal right here i just going to remove only the blemishes for the image but if you want to do it to run body heal micro dodge and the purchase volume just create an action for it and here is how you create the action the first thing you are going to do just duplicate your layer by pressing on ctrl j then after that come to your action click on this hamburger icon right here then click on button mode right here so once you click on button mode you can just to create this action into a set or if I have an existing set, you can just create it under that set. So let me show you how you can create a set first. Just click on this folder icon right here. Once you click on it, it's going to show you to create a set. I'm going to rename this set as test. After I click on OK, you're going to click on this plus icon right here. So once you click on this plus icon, it's going to show you action name. So I'm going to rename this action retouch for me like this. And you can choose to apply any color you want from here. I'm going to add a yellow color to this one right here. I'm going to click on yellow and click on record. So once I start recording right now, everything I do right now is going to save as an action. Now what I'm going to do, I want to touch for me to help me remove the blemishes of this image, to help me do my micro dodge and burn, and also to help me do my portrait volume all in one click. The first thing I'm going to do, once I click on record, I'll just come to my filter with this um, new layer selected, which is the one you duplicated. Come to your filter come to your retouch for me and come to your heal right here so once you click on heal it's just going to load and just remove the blemishes for you automatically i'm going to click on it right now so after it loads it's going to remove the blemishes for your image for you automatically and also make sure your high resolution right here is checked and you can choose to decrease and increase the sensitivity according to the way you want it but i like my like this so i'm going to leave it like this so if I zoom in right now, let me just zoom in so you can see the effect. So if you look at the cheek right here, if I just show you the original, you can see the blemishes right there, like that. You can see it has removed those blemishes right there. So after I move the blemishes with this retouch for me, I'm going to click on this make mark right here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click on apply right here. I'm just going to apply it on a new layer like that. So if I zoom in right now, you can see the before and the after the blemishes are no longer there so just make sure you do it like that so after that what i'm going to do i want to do the micro dodge and burn for this image so i'm going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing on ctrl shift alternate e to create a stamp visible layer and right now i'll come back to my filter with this new layer selected i'll come to my filter and come to retouch for me again and just click on this dodge and burn right here so once I click on this dodge and ball, it will automatically do my micro dodge and ball for me. And I'm going to show you how you can adjust the settings if you feel it's too much. So I'm going to click on retouch on me dodge and ball right now. Now you can click on this preview right here so that you can see how it works. So once I click on it, it's going to show me how retouch on me did with micro dodge and ball. So you can see like this. Those parts that are yellow are the parts that dodge and those parts that look kind of dark are the parts that burn. So once I click on it, it's going to show the before and after. So you can see that it did the micro dodge and burn for this image automatically. And also make sure your high resolution right here is selected. So after that, before you click on apply, make sure you click on open in a soft layer. So once you click on it, you're going to check this soft layer option right here. And after that, just click on apply right here. So because we use soft layer, all you have to do is come to your blend mode, change it from normal to soft lights like that so you can see the before and the after 
so it has done the micro dodge above for us automatically now the final thing which i want to do for this actual right here is the portrait volume this portrait volume is like contour dodge and bone so once i apply it it's going to do the contour dodge and bone which means whenever i click on this action it's going to help me remove the blemishes it's going to do my micro dodge above for me and it's going to do the contour dodge above for me so to do that i'm just going to create a stamp visible layer again by pressing on ctrl shift alternate e or ctrl shift option e if i using a mac i guess so so i'm going to come back to my filter right here with this new stamp layer selected i'm going to click on filter i'll come to retouch for me again and i'll click on this portrait volume right here so once i click on it it's just going to load this portrait volume and apply it to the image and make sure your high resolution is selected it gives the best results when high resolution is selected okay it has applied to this image now let me just show you the preview so you can see what it does to the image so come to your preview right here it's going to show you the effect of the portrait volume so just click on it and if you just click on this original right here to see the before and after i reduce the blending option because i don't want it to be too harsh but you can just move this blending option up if you want the effects to be strong so if i just move it up to 200 you're going to see the effect right now you can see the before and the after the before and after the before and the after now the effect is too strong i don't want that so i'm just going to take it down back to 100 percent now next i'm going to do, i'm going to click on this soft light layer again and just click on apply right here after i apply it i'm going to come back to my blend mode click on the blend mode and change it to soft light to bring back the uh, image now after that what i'm going to do i'm going to group everything so i'm going to hold shift and click on this first layer right here and just press on ctrl g or command g if you're using a mac and just rename this group retouch for me come back to these actions right here which i'm recording and just click on stop right here so once i click on stop i'm going to come to this hamburger icon again click on it and just click on button mode again so if i scroll all the way down you can see this retouch for me right here is the one we just created so this is the before and this is the after the before and the after now this does not work on only headshots you can also use this action for full body shot or portrait image so i'm going to use this image right here as an example you can see the way these images look right now i'm just going to run that retouch for me action it will automatically remove the blemishes do the micro dodge and bone and add the global dodge and bone for me for this image so i'm going to press on ctrl j to duplicate the layer first once i duplicate the layer i'm going to click on this retouch for me action which you created right now and just allow it load and it's going to remove the blemishes for me for this image and do the micro dodge and bone so i'm going to click on it right now wow this is amazing so you can see the before and after the before and the after you can see the amazing job this just does with the image in just one click it removes the blemishes before and after it did the micro dodge and bone the before and the after then is it that control the jump bone the before and the after you can see how this retouch home just retouch this image in just one click this is how easy it is to use if you want to learn how to use the retouch for me click on this video right here I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.